My name's uh, Stephen Fletcher. We run Inertial Fanatics and we specialise in growing ferns. Got um, some tips about growing tree ferns. We get asked about it an awful lot. When you first buy your very first trunk, put it into the ground or in a pot if you wish. Watering is always an issue. If you're watering it with a hose pipe, quite often a lot of the water bounces off the trunk. The best thing is to use a, a drip system. It's quite inexpensive. It keeps the trunk damp 24 seven, which is really what a tree fern needs because in its natural habitat, it does come from the rainforest. Positioning wise, they could do with shade if you can do it or semi-shade. They're not, they don't really do terribly well in full sun. If you do keep them outside and you plant them in the garden, which is fine, you've always got to watch out for really low temperatures because we can get caught out. We actually use oak leaves instead of straw because they don't rot down and everybody can get hold of some oak leaves from somewhere and press them gently into the crown into position and in the spring when the croziers first appear they will actually push the leaves out themselves. If the tree fern is potted and you wish to bring it inside, it's got to be kind of light and airy and remember always to water them during the winter as well. Many people dry them out. We've heard people putting them down in the cellars or putting them in the shed and dry them out completely. Remember they do need to be moist as well in the winter. If you follow those tips, hopefully you'll have many years of growing your tree fern. Remember they only do one foot per 10 years. So don't expect great results that quickly. And you can always get more advice from us on our website or on the RHS website or indeed Google Dixonias and you can learn an awful lot. It's always good to swat up before you go out and buy a trunk.